Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abang Maryam Binti Zulkafli. I am going to do an article review for my assignment from UBI T20302. I choose text 1 as an article that I am going to review. First of all, I'm going to present my introduction. I wrote, be easy to yourself when you sorrow as the possible title for the text. So why do I choose the text? I choose the first text because I want to know how to overcome the feeling of disappointment. Other than that, I want to open up people's mind about having the feeling of disappointed. Next, what is the purpose of the text? The purpose of the text is to inform to people about the importance of dealing with disappointment in a good way. So, who's the intended audience for the text? The intended audience for the text is for people who wants to know how to deal with disappointment, such as students and parents. So, what is the thesis statement? The thesis statement from the text is studies by Kristen Neff, researcher in this area, suggests that self-compassion, not critical self-talk, is crucial in dealing with the hurt resulting from disappointment. What is the main point from each paragraph? The main point for paragraph 1 is to develop self-compassion. Three components must be present, self-kindness, common humanity and mindfulness. The main point from paragraph 2 is acknowledging that disappointment is a normal part of life is also essential. The last main point from the last paragraph is the self is believed to be the seat of consciousness and encompasses a range of qualities such as compassion, curiosity, clarity and calmness. Do these topic sentences relate to the thesis statement? Yes, the topic sentence relate to the thesis statement as it is about dealing with disappointment, which is self-compassion. So, how does the author present the arguments to support each topic sentence? The author present the arguments to support each sentence by giving reasons and giving some examples. Are the arguments convincing? Yes, the arguments are very convincing. The author convinced by using several examples and reasons in the main point. Are there opposing views and how are these views counter-argued? Yes, there is opposing views which is in paragraph 2 where the author presents that self-compassion is not easy to some people. As a conclusion, can I relate the text's main ideas to my experience or relate the situation to the Malaysian context? Yes, I have been experiencing a lot of disappointment in my life because I always put a high expectation on people and myself that leads me to disappointing myself. So how important is the information in the text to me as a student? It is very important to me because I have been dealing with disappointment in a bad way and the article helps by giving a way to deal with it in a positive way in the future so this is all from me thank you for watching